Hi guys, this is Camille. So today's topic is gonna be portrait again. The general creation process is laying down your grayscale portrait and then applying colors. Also with final step of adding some visual effect as well as some adjustment. So here's a, a grayscale image that I drawn before and I'm gonna demonstrate roughly of how I created this. And here I just create a new layer and since I'm going to paint in black and white so I choose a gray like a dark kind of darker gray for the base. This brush is my favorite Photoshop spot brush. It's like right this one. It's called uh, oil medium to large tip. Okay. I'm going to create a new layer, and this layer is going to resemble the character. I would choose a slightly grayer, uh, grayish tone, and choose a kind of lighter value to de define the face. I mean, don't worry about uh, the edge because you can go back to fix it press Control alt choose however color to blend in. I can use the hotkey like E for eraser. You can assign your hotkey too. It's like much faster. Switch between the two. For the hair, you always do from the large stroke, large size of strokes to detail to small. Never start from small strokes size. I mean brush size. I will enlarge the spacing if my computer is kind of laggy because this help. For the pupil, I'm not gonna, definitely not gonna choose, not gonna choose pure white, just a little bit uh, brighter, lighter tone value, that's it. Now I'm gonna choose a very dark tone to indicate the details, such as the eyes, just tip the eyes, and the tip of the lips, or the mouth. Just gonna use Mix your brush to render the soft tone of the skin. Just lightly pressure, press against from the darker tone to the lighter tone. It will give you this softness, softer renderness. How you call it? I'm not gonna worry about if it's gonna uh, make my uh, make the feature fade away because I'm gonna go go back and fix the feature. You see I adjust the direction a lot because I want the brush stroke goes always in the cross hash against the uh, brush stroke underneath. Now I'm gonna give it a little bit lighter tone, not too much, just a little bit, just gonna roughly block in. And then use mixture brush to soften the edge. And then you use smaller size of brush to do the detail of the hair. And now it's the turn of highlight. Just to apply you know, those dots of highlights on certain place. To do things more detailed, you can always like zoom in to do the details. And I can, of course, clean things further up and finish up this rendering, but it's a rough demonstration that I'm not going to go into. Okay, at this stage, I'm gonna to color. Actually, I just flatten all image to one, to the, just this one layer, and set the brush mode and the color, and I use this soft, rounded brush. I already have a general color scheme in mind that I want this to be like flowerish, like golden blossom, so which combine with green and yellow. So I choose yellow. And for the background, it should be green, right? And for the skin, it's always like uh, due to different volume, the different lighting of you. The mid-tone, I'm going to do add in some red. And as well as the hair, it looks good. Blonde hue for the uh, highlight of the hair. I'm on my color layer. I can go back to. I'm gonna switch to overlay because it, it enhances the lighting too. I want to affect the lighting. Give it a cool highlight on the lips and the eyes cool too. I can always do Control V. But I can always duplicate this layer. Set a color or even overlay. Uh, adjust the opacity enhance the color as, as well as the lighting tone. Drop it down. 
I choose a uh, green as a highlight. Maybe a uh, best green cyan as the uh, lighter tone, because you want us the color of the lighting value of the skin to be complementary. So it will give you this transparent feel. I like the lighting right here, this part. So I'm going to try to make another part of the face, another side of the face like that too. Gonna have some cool tattoo of the eye. Oh, it's like to highlight. Well, I'm gonna drop down the layer. I'm gonna use the brush, set the brush mode and overlay. Use the very soft, uh, huge size of brush to paint in some uh, light blue. Because I feel the middle tone of the face is off, to correct that I can use this way. Since overlay property only affects the metal volume range, 